This is about bearing and clutch. The main function of the bearing is to resist the load and the main function of clutch is to transmit the torque. In bearing and clutch, in both two types of theory used, first is uniform pressure theory and second is uniform bear theory. Now, the formula for uniform pressure theory is for work is this torque in term of pressure is this and torque in term of load is this now the formula for uniform bear theory load is this torque in term of pressure is this and torque in term of load is this now because the main function of the bearing is, is to resist the load so in case of bearing we generally prefer uniform pressure theory because in case of uniform pressure theory you can see the torque frictional torque is 4 by 3 times then the uniform bear theory if we design for worst condition we design both bearing and clutch for worst condition so that in normal condition it obviously can work if we design for worst condition or peak load then in case of normal condition it can no cause no problem so in case of uniform pressure theory main function of bearing is to transmit resist the load so we generally prefer uniform pressure theory in case of uniform pressure theory frictional torque is more so that the more losses more heat generation more power consumption so we design by uniform pressure theory so we calculate the how much each power consume and in case of uniform if we prefer for bearing uniform bear theory then in case of uniform bear theory torque will be less so power losses will be less so it can work in case of uniform bear theory and bearing is designed by uniform pressure theory now if we talk about clutch clutch are generally designed by uniform bear theory because if in bus condition for clutch is this because the torque is less so friction will be less in case of uniform bear theory so that we calculate in how much frictional friction in how much friction it can transmit that power so obviously if in less friction it can transmit the power obviously in case of uniform pressure theory because torque frictional torque is more it obviously can transmit the power so that clutch are we generally prefer to design by uniform bear theory so this is about bearing and clutch because the main function of the clutch is to transmit the power so that if we design if we design clutch by uniform pressure theory then it obviously it can work so generally prefer uniform bear theory for the clutch and for bearing uniform pressure theory thank you discuss about bearing and clutch now the in bearing and clutch two types of theory we use generally we use uniform pressure theory and uniform bear theory now the formula for the bearing and clutch both are same for a single wall bearing and clutch now the formula you can see for uniform pressure theory for load is this and in term torque in term of pressure is this and torque in term of load is this uniform bear theory for load formula is this in term of pressure torque is this in term of load torque is this now you can see torque in uniform pressure theory is 4 by 3 times of times of uniform bear theory now the main function of bearing is to resist the load and the main function of the clutch is to transmit power now in case of uniform pressure theory now both bearing and clutch 
both are designed for burst condition now to test them now in case of uniform pressure theory because frictional torque is more so that more friction is generated more heat is generated so bearing generally we in bearing we generally prefer uniform pressure theory in case of clutch we generally use uniform bear theory because we design both of them for burst condition now if we discuss about the bearing in bearing generally bearing function is to resist the load in case of single polar bearing formula is this now formula for the uniform bear theory for bearing is this but generally we use uniform pressure theory now in case of in bearing used to resist the load if the load is increases now the load in case of bearing increase then we revise the formula by new formula is this and in case of uniform bear theory the formula will be this now in case of bearing if load is increased then we increase load n times and the torque will remain same but in case of bearing in case of clutch the formula in formula the main function of bearing is to transmit the torque now we multiply and in case of torque but the load will remain same so this this formula n times this is for clutch and in case of bearing load increase so we multiply n by or suppose two times then we multiply load by two and also load by two in case of bearing but in case of clutch we multiply this two in place of n so that in this theory because frictional torque is less if clutch can transmit the torque in less frictional torque then obviously it can transmit the torque in case of more friction same for bearing if bearing can resist the more friction or bulk in case of burst condition for more frictional torque then obviously it can bulk in case of uniform bearing in which friction is less so this is about bearing and